your house. I just want to shake my booty a few more moments. Hell of a way to start the stream, Todd. Shake it, don't break it. Break it, don't stop. Hi, guys. That's yeah. Baden. Yeah, yeah. That's Jim. And we're doing my show. Telephone. Ring, ring, ring. Uh, yep, yeah, this is the Lou show. No, it's the my show. The my show, even though the my is directed at you, Lou. I know, because I'm an egotistic count maniac. This is fucking confusing. <laughs> Be prepared by Frankie McDonald. <laughs> Did he actually write a fucking book? <laughs> How many pages is that? Five. It looks small. Four. <laughs> Four pages. <laughs> hey, that's mean. At least I was close. <laughs> uh, at least the fuck book is better. Well, yeah, because the fuck book is basically 420 pages of the word fuck. <laughs> Don't give it away. I mean, we come have on. That's so more. That's Spoiler the, alert. That's the best part of it. I think that is freaking hilarious. <laughs> I mean, I have to ask, who would publish that? I would. <laughs> Rotting Horse Publishing no longer exists, but when it did, we put out great material. Yeah, like the house that smelled like urine. Yeah, I know. The house that Todd built. Uh, meet the Mosleys. I remember that one. Uh, the Fappening. What? That's not, that's not, no. You're not supposed to tell him about that. The fappening was that Charles whole... Whedon wasn't responsible for the fappening leaks. Why would you say that Anonymous is going to come after him again? Lou. Uh, well, uh, looking back on it, I think that was just Toby that was fucking with me. So, yeah. Oh, boy, that was so fun. How you. Oh. He put me through a freaking panic attack. <laughs> Bro, Twitter puts you through a panic attack. Yeah, I don't like Twitter. Yeah. Facebook put you through a fucking jerk off attack. What? No, it didn't. I left Facebook because I just because I realized that Facebook always brought out the worst in me. You realize that you gotta have one or the other in order to con to communicate with certain groups. Telegram and Discord. That's all I need. <laughs> I'm trying to get Izzy into Telegram. Well, I don't know what's going on with him, so I don't know what would keep him from joining and why or whether or not he would want to. I mean, like I said, I haven't spoken to the guy in like over five years. I know. It's just sad. It is sad. That guy was like my best friend. It's okay, Whedon. You can cry on your cat's shoulder. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to cry over it, but I will admit I do miss the guy. Hey, you guys want to see my... Hot kielbasa. Mmm. Sizzling. Oh, damn it. Why does it have to be sizzling? Sizzling? This shit ain't sizzling. That shit's fucking... Yeah, it's sizzling, dude. It is sizzling. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm getting so hungry right now. Even though I didn't get it, I'm so He keeps it up. He's going to spill oil all over his computer. And yes, then the fucked up, shitty, faggot podcast won't go live. Oh, my God. It's just, oh, man, I want some kielbasa now. Oh, man. You want a foot long kielbasa? A, fo a kielbasa is not foot long. It's longer than a foot. Uh, well, you know, I was trying to just give you a foot. Try to imagine the elongated penis from uh, the boys. He was trying to manage your expectations, Charles. Yes, I realized that and I didn't care. So, yeah. So you want it longer than a foot. Okay, I walked right into that one. <laughs> but I'm bump. See, everybody? Charles likes dick, not Jim. Jim is good. Says the guy who's in charge of his own podcast called Faggots. You have to. Admit That's a that slanderous you're... allegation, and uh... Uh, the funny thing with that name is you can't market that if it was to go 
big. Not nope. saying that Compound Media was to buy it, but l- let's just say Personally, another even... network wanted to buy those weirdos that I don't can't even hold think Compound Media would care. <laughs> properly. No, Compound Media wouldn't care. Because, yeah. you know, in hot water, they just tell racist, faggot jokes all day. Isn't that the guy with the headband? The tranny hat, the tranny hat yes, what Todd likes to eloquently say. Oh, uh, and the guy who him. ripped off my tranny hat. Oh, and he also has a tendency to, you know, like, oh, God, I don't even want to fucking say it. <laughs> oh, the gay porn? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, boy. That yeah, yeah, fun. I wasn't even standing at my computer, and then I turned my head, and that's the first freaking thing I see. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't <laughs> want that shit on my computer. <laughs> That would have been funny. Like your stepdad walks in the room and he sees two guys fucking. <laughs> Fun story. Uh, before I get to put my headphones on, and I still have to make, speaking of the faggot slink, uh, my father was working on the sink once, had in hot water on. This is in the early days of watching it. Uh, before I knew better, and a bunch of gay porn came on. And, uh, yeah, my father watched gay porn because of that silly tranny hat wearing Gino Bisconti. Basically, going going forward from now on, if I see you streaming that shit, I'm out. I'm done. I'm, I'm just going to stop right, like, midstream, and I'm going to be like, yep, no more. Oh, I'll be right back. I got a package. Sorry. Ah, uh, there was just a question. Thank God I'm here for one second. Oh! Hi, Charles. Oh, that's Jerry! Fuck you, Jerry! Why don't we send Jerry a link? Nope. Nope. <laughs> How Why about should... Toby? Nope. Nope. Fuck a Toby, too. How about Lucas? He's cool. <laughs> I uh, forgot to send him a link because I was rushing with everything, and then we went early. I was gonna, but, but then I can't... forgot. You can't we gonna... send him a link because then it would be in that faggot podcast. The no, Discord. it's called sending things in private. In private. Oh, oh, that's right. Durr, <coughs> Mr. Alpha Poo Pants. I poo poo in your hoo hoo. Well, Charles, now that Lou's gone, mm-hmm. I heard Lou killed Bob Saget. Oh, God, can we talk about really, that for a second? Really? I thought that was you. No. Like, I believe it was Avadanker who brought that up, that he was Apple I thought they pretty much confirmed that his... T- that Did you just call Avalancher a ner- Nerger? A ner- N-E-R-G-E? I thought that they confirmed that he died due to brain hemorrhage after he had hit his head. Yes, yeah. but they, you know, the conspiracy theorists that are on the Faggots podcast. Yeah, I don't AKA, give two shit for a uh, rat's ass about them. Morning so far, they want to sit there and say, oh, he was killed. Somebody struck him in the head. No, maybe the dumb fuck slipped out of a shower. Hello, that happens. Mm-hmm. And Sure, no, who said he was killed? Besides, the boy, when- Avadanker. Ajabanja. Whatever. I have a fanker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm an, I'm an I'm Okay, you guys are talking. Come on, Charles. Your turn. You do one now. Uh, um, cabbage baker. Abracadabra gobbledygook. Oh! You just called Bruce a faggot. He is one for joining the Faggot Podcast. Look, I just said Abracadabra. Oh, Calvary. look. That's all I said. That is not. Look at all the comments. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I'm By K Fur. Why does K Fur to me sound like old Toby? And why does K Fur have a fucking wrench? Well, let me say that everybody gets a wrench. This is this is this is happy, fun wrench land. Listen, this Kafer apparently comes from the ski mask crowd. Uh, so I guess uh, if Toby got in that crowd, old Toby, evil Toby, vile Oliver. 
then that was a that's a pretty fancy feat on his part, no? He finally duped you. Where's the dupe? I don't know. K fur. I don't know. I don't know who this person is. Am I supposed to know people? See, here's another issue I have with the. It'd be weird Fagin. if I knew who these people were. Why you know, you, is you, it? Lou everyone, hates f words. Everyone is on the fucking camera, but the fucking clown Rusty. Is he afraid to show his face? Well, like, there's a reason clan members wear hoods. But then, okay, you know what? Go on camera with a hood on. Show your true nature. Yeah, I told him that. I don't understand that part. He also doesn't want to... I mean, you got uh, that fucking Mr. A wearing a fucking wannabe peacemaker mask. Hey, look. He likes me. He doesn't like you guys. I don't care who he likes. He could go suck a donkey. I'm his favorite. It can't be old Toby. Old Toby always loved you. I don't know. V wants to spot the Fed. Who wants what about V? Jerry, this is how I like it. If I oh, wanted to, I, see. I can grow out a bushy beard. Not like you who can't. You, you fucked hard. Yeah, yeah I yeah. like his Puerto Rican samurai beard. My yeah, I, 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 that's why I don't shave. I, it. I didn't want to yeah. culturally appropriate and just say samurai. That's what I'm. Yeah, but no, it's just I can't I can't grow a beard because all I can really do is this, my chin, then the mustache, and then everything here is just patchwork. Yeah, but you know what? Just grow. I wonder out. how your balls would look. I don't want to talk about my balls. Grow this out, and you know you could be a sexy tall man, just I'm like six me. Foot Warren, you're taller than me. No, I'm about your height, if that. But then Todd's the shortest of us. Yes. Yeah. No, I wasn't listening. How tall is you guys? Six foot About one. Six one. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you guys. Yeah, yeah, we're taller than him. Okay, you came back. Turn off this fucking elevator music, please. I like the music, so leave it on. Oh shit! We got a war. copyright strike. <laughs> no, no, this is <laughs> this is built-in royalty-free streamyard music. Yeah. yeah. Called Night Driving, which, by the way, is crazy because I had a wonderful sunset drive on my way home from a 40 minute drive, which uh, uh, there's a you lady nearby. Um, the pre show mm. before the gay show. Mm. Oh, so, so the, the quote unquote gay show is going to be coming on after this one. There's no quotes there, sister. Everybody on that show loves the penis. Yes, oh, I'm they sure. do. Rusty, Jerry, Toby, uh, Bruce, Mr. A, Damien, Mr. Okay, Williams, have, and especially that handsome boy, Jim. I have to ask, how did you meet these guys? Compound media. In a, in a, in a rest stop bathroom. He met them through compound media. Okay. Yeah, while well, they were in a dark alley. Yeah, this are it's a regular it's a regular old penis fest. It oh, yeah. was a docking party. <laughs> I'd put on their rock and roll select there's like they have like five songs. The rock and roll one I guarantee you. Listen is not to this comment rock. by K Fur. Oh boy. Not as fat as y'all. Oh, oh this is much better rock. looking and I'll much more in. confident and not alone, but I'm fat. I don't get that. A I'm married. Four kids. Yes, I'm fat, but I don't care because I'm still sexier than a motherfucker because that's just who I am. Hello, Rook! Welcome to my show! Starring me! Rook's not fat. He's a tiny little Asian boy who works on a farm. I feel like I'm in a wrestling match with this fucking music on. Barry Ribs joke? Yeah, it's terrible. This is not a wrestling match. If anything, I can imagine this being some kind of montage for some romantic comedy where the main character and all of his other guy friends are just going through all kinds of weird shenanigans through the town. Respect. This is not in hot water. I won't go there. What? With respect? 
Oh no, they're God, weird. God. These gentlemen's weird shenanigans. God damn it! I knew it was about what I said. Oh, son of a bitch! Because looking back on it, I'm like, oh fuck! I can see where he can go with that. <laughs> So, looking back on it, somewhere in your mind, when you thought about a bunch of men getting together and having shenanigans, you immediately thought about sword fighting. No, I, I, I imagine them like driving through the town, having their heads outside the passenger window, screaming their heads off, going like, I love this fucking town, I'm so drunk, let's get shit-faced. I mean, that kind of thing. That's right, because this I podcast is all heterosexuals, unlike that other podcast that comes on after this that's all full of homosexuals. This is the heterosexual show. I swear to God, I, I just like, I'm surprised George R.R. R. Martin hasn't shown up yet because with the amount of penisery that's showing up on that stream, he's bound to show oh, up at some point. Yeah. Oh, look, Jerry made a comment saying I breastfed my kids too. He made a funny that wasn't funny. Like, come better than that, bro. That fucking Jerry idiot. Come better than that, Scotland, you Irish prick. Go play golf, you fat white. Go get your teeth knocked out by another woman. Go wrestle Mix McMahon in WrestleMania 55. What does three stringers mean? Charles, you work on a plantation and boss around legal Mexicans all day. Uh, what is a stringer at a farm? I have no idea. I don't do the day to day. I'm just the face. And the owner, but I don't actually do all the fucking work. <laughs> You're gonna have to talk to Padre. He's the guy that lives in the shack down the street. <laughs> You're a good dude. Don't ever advocate for shit talkers to get banned, though. I almost went in for keeps, but I'm glad you educate the audience and said you're a dad and married. I dig it now, bro. Why, thank you. Not all fat dudes are alone, bro. You know, this is what you call the dad bod. And women... <laughs> oh, that is a dad bod or two, for sure. Or three. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just keep it going. What up, bro? So, question for you, Whedon. You going to see Batman? I am considering it. I mean, I'm after the after the shit that happened with Spider-Man, I was like, yeah. But I'm top. considering it too. Mm -hmm. I might go Sunday. I don't know yet. It, it's. Mm. I want to see it. Don't get me wrong, but I'm kind of like, well, you know, they did say it's going to HBO Max in the 45 days. <laughs> I might just wait. Yeah, I'm probably going to wait as well. I mean, I do want to see it, but not bad enough to the point where I'm risk getting infected. So AIDS? No. Oh. Polio. Oh, okay. I that that's yeah. reasonable. Yeah. Black hat, black shirt, black everything. You just need headphones. I keep forgetting. I gotta go make this other stream. I'll be back. You don't have to make anything. You still got time. That stream don't go live till 845. Well, Back is starting to hurt. Uh, humbug. This is not Christmas. Like dude. Frankie says, be prepared. Be prepared. I repeat, be prepared. You are not the lion scar. I want to see the inside. Yes, I am. Book. You don't know that. Who's that? Open Jeremy that Irwin. book. It's a Let's very heavy book. Let's oh. be prepared. Oh, I got to pick it up. Oh, it's very heavy. Uh, <sighs> map quest. Two map quests. Be prepared four. For map four. Four. <laughs> four freaking pages. Act, That's, act it. Fast. That's it. Just four pages. That was page six. And that's page four. Bikes and bullies? Yes. <clears throat> does it come in audiobook? It's right now. Why right now you, it does. Why would you make an audio book of a book that only has four freaking pages? It's got more than Well, pages. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Sometimes Frankie's stressful situations involved other kids. And although most kids were kind to Frankie, once in a while he'd run into a bully. 
That's what happened the day the school called Frankie's dad to tell him that Frankie had banged his head so hard he'd smashed it right through a window at school. Luckily, Frankie was okay in the end, but when the school tried to figure out why Frankie had done it, it turned out that another boy had teased Frankie until he felt so overwhelmed and frustrated that he started banging his head. It was a very long time ago, so no one remembers exactly what the other boy did to make Frankie so upset, but as Frankie's dad says, kids just picked on him sometimes. See, I don't Should like I? that. <laughs> Joe go on. No. I don't like... I understand Frankie's a little special case, but still. You have Kids, no idea. You have no like, idea how yeah, close to home that is for me. That, that, I'm not. I'm muting my mic just, now. I did that. Me. I did that. I, when I would be so overwhelmed with emotion, one of the things I did to cope with it was bang my head up against hard surfaces. I used to do that all the fucking time. Luckily, you don't have CTE. There is an indentation right here that's because of that and i'm stuck with it i'm stuck with it for the rest of my life uh, now man. could i could, would i go back and change and you stop can't. myself from, i know but it's just like would i probably not no but, because yeah i don't know i don't like you're the only person i truly know that's autistic and it's just just don't do that well when you're growing up with autism whether it be in varying levels and you are on the receiving end of a lot of the ridicule that comes from being around other kids um you got to do what you got to do to cope with it and you don't know how to cope with it so you do the first thing that comes to mind and that's different for each person but uh, there's a lot of people who do resort to the same thing. I've seen videos of people who have autism and have done that and have banged their head up against a desk or a locker door or a wall. It's it's uh, like a like a hard reset is what it is. That's what it kind of feels like a hard reset. It's just fucked up. Yeah, like, well, I mean, there is a high chance that you could da you could cause brain damage. You know, not even that. It's a high chance that you know. You decide, don't know if you got guns in your home or not, but you pick up a fucking M16 and decide to go shoot up the fucking school because of being bullied. And then okay, okay I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop you right there. Just here's a little bit of a story. When I was growing up, there were actually. Story time. Can you just start it with here's a little story all about how? Here's a little story about a little thing that happened to me when I was growing up, where when I was in high school, there were concerns that I may, I was suspected of possibly causing a school shooting. Now, fortunately, I never did, but... Um, did you think it? Uh, did I ever think about it? Um, I'm not going to lie. It, it, I did have the thought from time to time, but it didn't happen very often. Uh, the thing is, is that um, you know how much I enjoy video games. Well, video games mellowed me the fuck out. It was your coping mechanism. Exactly. So when all these people, all these newscasters, all these politicians say that video games cause violent and they're the cause of all these school shooters, it's like, no, no, fuck off. Oh, There's just like uh, lyrics in a song causes people to do bad, bro. No, <laughs> don't no, give me no. that bullshit. People are in control of their own decisions. And if they blame something else for their own decisions, they are a fucking moron. Like if Jim wants to hang out with a bunch of gay people, that's Jim's prerogative. Yeah, it doesn't mean he's a faggot. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Even though he is a faggot. So, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the captain of the faggots. Pretty much. <laughs> but no, it's just... Uh, Slanderous no. allegations. No, it's just, I mean... Uh, he likes one... to pull Toby's hair and stroke it when he's drilling him. Mm -hmm. Oh, and speaking of video games, I'm going to screen share something real quick. And it's going to give you an idea of what I do when I get stressed out. I have a game called Paint the Town Red, and you're going to like it. All right, I got to download it, though. I don't have it currently downloaded. Well, uh, B see. relates so much to you, Whedon. He does? Well, I don't know if it's a he or a she, so we'll, we'll just say. I mean, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not looking at the chat. <laughs> oh. 
Hold on, I'm bro, looking. Bro, there's a. It comes up in the chat in the stream yard. Oh, I didn't see it, but um, no, it's just I relate to you so much, Whedon. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah. Also, I just uh, hold on a second. Uh, what, what's the download? Okay, we're good. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna. I, I may end up streaming this game throughout the rest of the uh, the thing, so you guys can like watch and talk about stuff, and I can talk about. Stuff Would you like you. to share your screen? All you got to do is just not, request. I'm, I'm, I'm downloading it. I'm downloading it right now, and then once I launch the game, well, how then damn I long is it gonna be? It's done. Oh well, wow, damn! Is fancy. Yeah. Oh, you don't live on the wrong side of the tracks no more. You see, yes, that's a callback to Izzy. All right. Well, they finally pumped you over that internet. I was yeah, just trying did. to throw your yeah. boy Izzy back. Oh, yeah. I've, I've had this high speed internet since July 10th of 2017. <laughs> and it's been great. Now, speaking yeah. of old news, old news, can we tell everybody who Izzy is? Uh, he is Charles Whedon's uh, estranged best friend who swears he's a heterosexual young African American gentleman who swears he's a heterosexual. Uh, and that's all I will say. Lovely uh, boy, lovely young man, lovely young man who swears he's a heterosexual. Swears he's a heterosexual. Yeah. All right. Ow. Well, I have launched the game. Don't forget to now, request a screen share. Now I'm trying to paint the town red. Yeah, yeah, but it's basically you. Uh, you'll see in a minute. I'm gonna have to lower the volume though, because there might be uh, copyright issues. Yeah, copyrighted music. So I'm gonna. Go ahead and lower the volume. Music volume is down. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. Share. Um, screen share. Uh, share screen. Select the window. Hmm. Hold on a second. Uh. Taking longer than I thought. Mm. Okay, I'm going to... Let's see. I'm going to... I think I'm going to share the entire screen. Because it's not giving me an option to, to share the screen... The, the game itself. So I may have to do the entire thing. Do what you um, have to do for a second. All right. Let's see. Uh, can you see... Um, can you see what I'm looking at? Not yet. Did you request a share? Yes, I did. Then Jim has to approve it. Okay. Jim is busy making the link for the other show. Oh, okay. Uh, well, thumbnail, actually. I got to make a thumbnail that uh, Mr. Jerry and Mr. Williams are not going to love at all. But uh, I'm gonna love better. it a lot. I'm gonna love it. It's gonna be a very, very, very good one. I hope so. Well, let me know when you're ready to go, and then I will start the play of the game, and you can see how glorious. This I wasn't game even is. paying attention to your words, so there you go. We're there. Let's see. What way do we want to do it? This way. The other way was better. Probably, but yeah. hold on. Let me take that word off. Yeah, I, I, I can't see what you guys Start are playing. Doing. Can you Can see, you the, see game? the game? Yes. Now we only see the game. Okay. Single player. Let's do scenarios. I'm going to let you guys pick. Okay. We got biker bar. Biker Disco. Bar. Great. See the other one. Disco. Option. Great. Prison. Eight. Pirate Cove Day. Pirate Cove Night. Saloon. Sandbox. I say biker bar. Uh, Todd, what do you say? Death go, but it's the loose show. All right, if it's biker bar, since, since, since it's the loose show, we're gonna do biker bar. Okay, loading biker bar. Do they really have boxes on their head? Oh yeah. See, see, look, see. Okay, gonna pick up a chair. I'm gonna see this guy kind of pissed me off, so I'm gonna. See how long I can go. <laughs> and see, they're all fighting now. Ah, here we go. Oh, took out half his face. 
you can attack anybody indiscriminately in this game. <laughs> well, this game is funny, being that it's a bit. It's I fucked up. It... It's a biker bar, but there's no bikers. These are all bikers. Really, they're not wearing. Their you don't masks? see outside. They could have motorcycles. Oh, I, I broke. Where's this for... fucker running to? Is he scared? Well, I'm probably gonna end up dying. I mean, my health is not. All right, come on. Oh, I'm gonna take care of the band. I don't like your music. Take out the drummer. Uh... <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> not enough blood i want more blood right there all that that's blood right here yeah, too. i know that i know that but i want it like all over the walls blood's not square charles oh oh man you're getting smart Sexy time. Ooh, yeah, sexy time. Ooh, yeah, sexy time. What the fuck is wrong with you? We're seeing a bunch of blood and you're over here sexy time? You you got a twist. Oh, I'm on another screen. I don't see none of this. Looks like he's just hitting people with chairs. Well, yeah, I mean, something all right. Right. and I'm dead. I'm dead. All right, I watched him hit one person with a chair and if there's 25 other people, I've seen it all already, it seems. Now okay, he's getting I'm kicked. Out. They're stomping. All right. All right. Go to well, disco. Oh, oh, damn it. I just exited the game. <laughs> oh, oh, well. Yeah. Hey, look. It's to old Toby. What happened? You don't like it? No, it's just uh, whenever I get frustrated, I just turn that game on and just randomly kill people. Yeah. Blood and gore is pretty sexy. I agree. If done All right. right. Stop screen. But no, it's just that game. Uh, it's just it's a lot of fun. Um, whenever I get frustrated or stressed out, I turn the game on and I uh, just kill things indiscriminately and I can get away. And it's not illegal because it's a video game. Even though, according to all these jackass, that's true. It's legal. And then, of course, according to all these jackass politicians who say that video games cause people to hurt other people. It's like, no, not at all. Like like Rook says, don't go to a biker bar fight with a chair. No, no, but it was the only weapon that was really available to me because I still haven't figured out how to do all the extra, you know, cool shit. Oh, so you have to master it still. Yes. So Gosh. far, I'm just like going in and just killing random people. I'm not actually trying to do all the inner workings of the game yet. Yeah, because you killed 10 out of 79. You need to kill 79 out of 79. Yes. But the thing is, is that if you attack too many people all at once, you will do something called aggroing them and they will all swarm Shock on you. you. They will all swarm on you and you'll kind get Kind of what they did towards the end. Yeah, they'll overwhelm you. Yep. There is a special ability that you have to get enough like energy to unlock. It's called Shockwave, where if any enemies get like if you get swarmed, you do Ooh, the Shockwave the and it like blows everybody back. And it can kill certain people depending on their health. So, yeah. Oh, and the game has multiplayer. Yeah, I saw that. I've never actually played the multiplayer, but uh, I've, I've heard interesting things. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. it's, this is like the point of the show where we would kind of talk some of the shows, but... I guess we got to save that for the Alpha podcast. The Alpha Rant podcast. Well, the thing is, the is that, that thing is I mean, called. I, um, I watched Wait, Picard, Picard today. I watched it. So I didn't finish Picard and I didn't finish. I fell asleep during Discovery. <gasps> really? What? Well, all right. Yeah, yeah. I will say that the most recent episode of Discovery was um, disappointing. It, it felt like a filler. I'm just going to tell you what. You guys chat for a few minutes, uh, and I'll pop back in when I'm done with this thumbnail. Uh, and I'm, I'll shut the speakers off. Did you do Valhalla yet? Uh, I went back to it. Um, I started the first episode. I watched a little bit more of it today. Um, 
the jury is still out about that show. Really? Yeah, I, there's just something about it that just doesn't feel right. Man, I fucking dug it. I watched that shit literally Friday and Saturday. Yeah. I don't know. It's just something about Vikings Valhalla just... You gotta get... See, uh, you know what I think it is? The cast. You're not used to that cast. And you gotta, like... Bro, it is Christian heavy centric. Yes, I know. Because this takes place after the after the Vikings were already well into their Christianization. So, but I know that uh, the plots and the scheming and all this, oh, brilliant! Like the ending, as when I sent you that message that it was fucking great. That ending. Like, I wish it didn't end there. I wanted more. Like I said, I'll probably end up watching it, but the, my, I, one of the complaints I have is that Michael Hurst is not involved with the project. It's yes, somebody. He is. No, he's not. Oh, he's involved. Maybe as a consultant, but he is not mainly involved in the show. Well, maybe he decided to build a team. Remember, now this is a much bigger budget compared to history. Well, yeah, because it's Netflix. So maybe he feels he needs more of a team to help him with this. Like, I don't know. I liked it. I want season two already. I hope it gets a season two. I mean, it was number one on Netflix for, for I think, that weekend. Well, I mean, when it comes to Netflix, you can never tell what show will make What's it gonna, what, yeah yeah that's what i was telling my son like bro now i've realized with netflix shows you have to watch them within the first week mm -hmm. to help it get renewed yep. if you want the show to get picked up that's why when ozark dropped watched it even though it's in the final season so it's, it is what it is mm -hmm. but uh stranger things has already been announced to do season five at the final season so there's that. Did we already get a season four for Stranger Things or a season four not aired yet? This year. Uh, I think it's April, the first half, and then the second half will be in the summer. Oh, so they're doing a two-parter. First half and then the second yeah. half. I think it's uh, kind of stupid, but whatever. Eh, whatever. Uh, this is the season where... Um, the, the 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 cop I uh, can't remember his name. Um, he Went was to Russia. Yeah, he was transported to Russia, and now he's in a Russian gulag. Yeah, so yeah. it's gonna be interesting. It's like Millie Bobby Brown is eighteen. I'm pretty sure most of the other castmates are well into their eighteen years of life. Well, Finn Finn Wolfhard, the guy that the the main kid guy, um, basically Eleven's boyfriend, uh. I think he's like 17 still. So I believe he got casted in a, in a Marvel. You guys are talking about other different gay stuff now, not not the you gay know, stuff I a, like. You know what? I'm gonna have to look that up because I vaguely we didn't even remember. Talk about it. No I more vaguely, spoilers. Oh, great! Just I tried vaguely, to get rid of me. I vaguely remember that Finn was cast in a Marvel movie, but I don't remember what one. Yeah. So he's in I'm, a Marvel project. Okay, uh, Finn Wolfhard has joined the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what he's playing. It's probably not announced who he's going to play. Oh, come on. I hate it when they do that. I like the suspense. I don't need to know who he's playing right now. I'd rather find out in a movie or if he's in a TV show, either or. Oh, my God. What? Giancarlo Esposito is being eyed for the role of Mephisto in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What site? Uh, giant freaking robot. No. No. N not a trustworthy no. site? No, not whatsoever. Okay, I'll put it in the bin with uh, Inside the Magic and uh, we got this covered. I think Inside the Magic is legit, but I'm not 100% sure. But giant freaking robot, and we got this covered. Hog posh. Yeah, well, we got this covered. I know all about how they are untrustworthy assholes. Yep. 
they will blow yes. smoke out of their ass just for clicks. They spread shit that don't come true, and then they might get one that's actually true, but no one believes them because they spread so many lies. Yep. All right, well, I didn't know that about Giant Freaking Robot. Yeah, they're the next one. Okay. I well, want still, to see Blade. Still, I want if, to that, see Blade if that turns, however, if that turns out to be true, that Giancarlo Esposito is being eyed from Mephisto, I, holy crap. I would actually like him in the Marvel Cinematic Universe because he's such a compelling actor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been a fan of his since Breaking Bad. But I don't think I want him as Mephisto. He would have to, like, let him be a villain. Well, yeah. But a villain that stretched out through an arc of movies. So multiple movies. That's what I would prefer. Well, I mean, I, I kind of see him playing Mephisto in a Ghost Rider movie. Well, they are. It looks like they're setting up that team. What team? The Midnight Suns. Okay. Where they go after like the elem, the supernatural type villains and creatures and shit. Mm. Hence, Blade. Uh, Which Ghost I'm, Rider. I am very excited for Blade. Very. excited. I'm excited for it, but I'm a little more like I like Mahershala Ali as an actor. Mm -hmm. But can he pull off a good blade like Wesley Snipes? Look, I, all it really took for me to accept Mahershala Ali as Blade was that when somebody went on social media and said that uh, Mahershala Ali was going to do a good job, but he had big shoes to fill compared to Wesley Snipes, Wesley Snipes saw that post and said, hey, he's got my seal of approval. And so if Wesley Snipes is in full support of Mahershala Ali... Then I'm all for it. You yeah. can't like I look at it as like this. I Wesley Snipes played that role in the early was it, was it the early nineties? The the first no not the early nineties. Uh, the first Blade movie came out in either ninety eight or ninety nine. Was it that long ago? Yeah, but it late into the nineties. I mean, yeah. either way, he did a a fantastic job of what material he had was like i don't know why people talk shit about the third one i actually enjoyed the third one the third one it's is just, garbage it's just a dumb fun movie it is a terrible movie i don't think so but and the worst part of it isn't even the humor the worst part of it is parker posey the woman that played the the head female vampire yeah oh, i thought you, i thought i thought you were gonna say triple h oh no 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 i didn't have a problem with him but uh, no, Parker Posey, her acting was terrible in that movie. <laughs> or as Lou's boyfriend Jerry would say, Triple H. She, like Parker Posey yeah, is a boyfriend. very talented actress. She's very talented. So I don't you know. You guys what definitely the, fucked. I don't nope. know what the fuck happened in Blade Trinity. I have no idea. They phoned it in. They didn't care. <sighs> I want Wesley Snipes to at least make a cameo in no, the Blade I, movie. I actually had a theory that they were going to bring Wesley Snipes back and completely change the race of Whistler. And Wesley Snipes was going to become the new Whistler. I could go for that. Yeah. I'd be all for that, too. <laughs> okay, so here's what I heard today. Watching a podcast that aired last night, but I watched it this morning. Some jackass on youtube decides to give his the batman review and he goes i have one good complaint and three bad complaints who is the, the guy i don't know some a, a nobody let's put it to you that way okay because the only critics i watch on youtube for movies is jeremy johns and uh chris stuckman and that's it and chris stuckman recently came back to doing reviews because he stopped for a while because he was filming a movie uh, he actually has yet to film the movie. Oh, he hasn't filmed it yet? He's doing a Kickstarter campaign to uh, fund the fund the production. So what, yeah. it's his movie? It's his movie, yes. Okay. Uh, but uh, Chris Stuckman does review movies, but he specifically said that he is no longer giving it a rating. He's only reviewing movies and talking about the good parts, the bad parts, but saying that whether or not the movie is overall enjoyable. He does not do the whole A, B, C, D, E, F, or whatever. He doesn't do that anymore. He just talks about movies. That's it. So, I'm going to preference this by saying the guy was white. 
Okay. And here are the parts he liked. Cracker. He liked, he liked Batman, Bruce Wayne, and Alfred. But yet he didn't like any of the other characters. He didn't like Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon because he's oh, black. Boo-hoo. boo-hoo. He didn't like Catwoman, Zoe Kravitz, because she's black. And Even he though... didn't like the mayor of Gotham City because she was black. You just spoiled that that woman became mayor of what woman? Of I don't know who the woman is that is the mayor. She and was Joey, she she was Joey showed, Travis is not the mayor. No, 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 no. I know what woman he's talking about. Uh, there's a scene, a clip that was uploaded to YouTube where it was at the previous mayor's funeral, and there was this black woman that walked up to Bruce Wayne and said and talked about how his family was known for philanthropy and contributing to the city and that Bruce Wayne has pretty much been completely silent and not doing anything and she's been trying to get a hold of his people so that she can get in contact with him so she decides to ambu- ambush him at the funeral that that woman is the is uh, one of the people that could potentially become mayor of Gotham well my bad I didn't know no, that's fine. Whatever. I don't remember that part of the trailer. But no, look, well, does this does this idiot not realize that this Batman movie doesn't even take place in the prime Earth? It, it doesn't take, matter what it take. It takes place it on is. Earth two. It takes yeah, place so on what? Earth two, which means they can do whatever the fuck they want. But no, no, no. Let's let's take it back right there. Holly Berry played Catwoman in that god awful movie. Well, no one acknowledges that movie anymore. But regardless of the fact, it's and a then fine when you film. Go, when you Shut go up, back Bob. to the TV series, Catwoman. Yeah. Hey, wait! I'm sorry. My name's Jim. Respect my identity. But um, I look no, at it like this nowadays. Mm-hmm. I don't care what was on paper for a comic book. When you cast, you're obviously. Picking the best actor for the role, whether it's white, black, brown, Asian, whatever. See, look, I'm going to go ahead and admit right now, and I'll be the first one to admit this, that I was actually one of those assholes who threw their arms up in the air every time they changed the race of a prominent established character. Nowadays, I don't really give a shit because I don't really want to stress over it. So I just prefer prefer to just wait and see what happens. And if I enjoy it, great. If I don't, oh, well. And that's it. Like, like the movie for what it is, or don't like it. And to be honest, with the casting of Jeffrey Wright in the role of uh, James Gordon, I gotta admit, I was actually kind of interested in that casting choice, bro. He's because I phenomenal actor. I like Jeffrey Wright, and the first time that I was introduced to him as an actor was Westworld. Thank and you. He, and he and was he um, kills that role. Oh yeah. Oh my God, he was so good in that. And he was good in Bond. The most recent one? Well, the he's in like three or four of them because there's five. He wasn't in one of them. But he doesn't have big roles, but the roles he's in in the movie. Oh, that's right. His character, his character, he was in the Daniel Craig 007 movies, yes. wasn't he? Yeah, okay. I remember. I remember seeing a scene where Daniel Craig goes into a bar and he's sitting next to Jeffrey Wright at the bar. Yeah. Wasn't that Casino Royale? Casino Royale, Spectre. Skyfall, and then never the last saw, one. I never saw Spectre. I never saw Quantum of Solace. I never saw No Time to Die, but and I never saw uh, Casino Royale, but I did watch Skyfall. How the fuck do you watch Skyfall without the other three? These movies are all connected. It's like one big arc. When I watched Skyfall, I had no fucking idea what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> I could see. But I was enjoying my time with it. And apparently Adele's opening theme to the movie. <laughs> so I would recommend they're in the Plex, by the way. Start with Casino Royale, because Casino Royale is hands down good. Yeah. Uh the second movie eh. The second movie is Skyfall. No, the second movie is uh Quantum of Solace. Quantum of Solace. Yeah. And, and then, then the third Skyfall. one is Skyfall, then Spectre, then what's the last no, one called? No Time to Die. No Time to Die. Yeah. So, you know, just watch them in that order 
And then uh -huh. you could actually make it like a three day part or a two day part watching them all because you know these are all two two and a half hour movies. There are too many goddamn James Bond movies. I'm not saying going back and watch all that other shit. Oh no, I'm not going to. Shit. Nope. No. I to, no I'm going to. I started Doctor No uh, a few days ago. Actually, it's very enjoyable stuff. Yeah, but I do. I really wanted to watch Spectre because I thought that the whole thing of of the Spectre organization was pretty cool. And of course, Christoph Waltz as uh, you know Blowfield. I mean, amazing. Yeah, he blows the field. Oh my God! You just had to make it dirty, didn't you? Disgusting. Well, I mean, it is the Lou show. But, okay, like, here's another thing I have to say. I don't know, because I lost a thought. And off it went. Ha <laughs> ha! Sorry, it's hard to laugh when I'm at the mute. <clears throat> oh, I'm sending you guys something on Telegram. I'm, I'm, I'm sending you guys the thumbnail. Have I ever... Did they what? make games for the... I know they made that uh, GoldenEye. I never played it. They did, make, they did make other James Bond movies. I mean, I mean games. They did make other games. Um, the last Pierce Brosnan James Bond movie. I can't remember the name of it. Um, it was. Uh, it had Robert Carlyle as the villain. Uh, I saw the movie, loved the movie, and I also uh, played loved the game. it. The game. <laughs> The game version, it. the game version of that movie was pretty good, but a little disappointing. I don't like what you did to the one character, but I love the rest. What? Die another day. Oh, what? You mean how it looks? The the the, the um, darker gentleman? No. no. Oh, oh. The the one towards. Uh, I don't know what how it looks on your screen, but on my screen, he's to the right. Oh, Frankie? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I, well, yeah. I didn't want to announce. Yeah, that, that you can say that, but that that's fine. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a quick throw together. I was more focused on the other two, and I, I you know, even that was crap. But die another day. The world is not enough. You don't know your band. Your bond. Uh, the world is the not enough. Bond. I think that I think that might actually be it. The world is not enough. I never played those games. That was the time I was running the streets. I'm not. Ta I'm not talking about the game at this point. I'm talking about the movies. Oh, dude, you want to know something? I didn't watch a lot of those Bond movies. I've seen some Neither here and there, I. but I didn't care for them. I got more invested with the Daniel Craig series because they made those five movies connect. Like it's a really long, a five book, a five chapter book. Uh huh. Or five books, you know, like hence George R. R. Martin, we're still waiting on your books, fat fuck. Okay, yeah, I'm looking at it, and um, yeah, uh, The World Is Not Enough is the movie that had Robert Carlyle as the villain. Yeah, the, the terrorist. Okay, got can't the kill pain. I'm out of here. Where are you going, Rook? Don't leave us! You're not allowed to leave. Hail Hydra! Hail Hydra. Yeah, I haven't heard that in a while. God, Jim looks so weird. Cobra, what the hell? The fact that he lost weight is like his arms feel like they're like Ethiopian. They're fine. They're all normal arms. No. Normal arms. Are you drinking tonight? It's a, it's not sure. Hard, hard. Drinky, drinky. We already know Jerry Shepherd Pee Pee is going to be drunk. That fucker's always Jerry drunk. Jerry Peppered Pee Pee. He's always drunk. Even at 7 o'clock in the morning, the fucker's drunk. He rolls out of bed, grabs a bottle of vodka, and goes, chug, chug, chug. That's a very good Jerry impression. What, yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Good one. Oh, he's lucky I can't get my Scottish accent down. 
Because, boy, I'd have fun. Lots of fun. I need to watch something with some Scottish people in it. Where's Chibs? Uh-oh, Whedon's in deep thought. What is he reading? I'm not reading anything. I'm trying to fix my mouse. What's wrong with your mouse? The left the left mouse button is sticking. Uh-oh. Yeah. Time for a new mouse. Well, yeah, I can get it if I can get a replacement from the same company that made my current mouse. They're 50 a piece. They're really cheap. Razor? Nope. Glorious PC gaming race. They're a relatively new uh, peripheral manufacturer. They've only been around for like four years. Hey, but if it works for you, it works for you, you know? I've had this mouse for two years, and it run. It, this is the first problem I've ever had with it. I think Todd should give us some pages to read. Let's do our own rendition of movie time. Hmm. Uh, I may have, uh, something for you. I'm tweeting. I'm tweeting. It's time for a new show. No, you still got one hour, faggot. So you can wait. We're waiting. Well, the, uh, the, the other show, uh, uh, the, the backstage starts in 30 minutes from now. Oh, you got a backstage room, huh? Hey, I noticed you had an after show scheduled last week, but you never did the after show. Correct. It's scheduled again for tonight. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if we'll go through with it, because uh, we might be too fucked up to handle it, if you know what I mean. I just, I don't know if I'm going to drink. There's, there's, I don't know. I just don't know. I'm not very thirsty right now, so I don't know, but. Eh, I haven't even had dinner to... yet. Because you're waiting for your fucking kibasa to finish. The kibasa. kibasa. And boiled cabbage, potatoes, and carrots. And some sauerkraut. And pierogies. And, um, uh, sour cream. What's a pierogi? And gray poupon. Oh, you got the gray poupon. Oh, so Delicious. Fancy. He's a fancy pantsy. Hey, you guys remember pierogies? If you don't, Petridge Farm remembers. What the hell is that? A that's pierogi. pierogi. Yeah, that's a pierogi. Yeah, pierogi. Okay. It looks tasty. <laughs> oh, it's very hot. I'm sure it is, because that's kind of what I'm in. Pierogies. Nom, 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 nom. Oh my god, you assholes are eating food here and I'm 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 still hungry. Oh. Hey, look at the last comment, Jim. That they're one? Not, they're not ready for that. Because I've been on that show and I've made people uncomfortable. Yeah. There are a bunch of peace loving faggots over in that show. They just want good times and happiness and tickles. And the sad thing is they can't bring the good times and happiness and tickles. They bring a bunch of jibber jabber, blah, 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 blah. Zaps, potato chips, voodoo. What flavor is that, barbecue? Voodoo flavored. Well, I don't know what the voodoo is. Is it supposed to be spicy hot? It's not. It's like... Let me try again. Mmm, they're very good. It's like, um... Eat another, eat another one. one. Kind of like ketchup. But... Closer to barbecue. Sweeter. Mm-mm-mm. Mm but to answer that question with Love a Crossover of both shows, I'm trying to get rid of that show. You know <laughs> That's his goal here with the Lou show is to destroy the faggots. Lou's main motto in life is kill all faggots. Kill, kill, kill. Murder, murder, murder. Oh, man. There's only one per. Well, I don't know anymore because he seems to always have a snarky remark when I leave a comment. Oh, boy. 
Oh boy. <sighs> Can't wait to hear who this is. Oh, you know who this is. My arch nemesis. <laughs> Mr. Williams. <laughs> Agent H. Oh, boy. I'm Agent H. I sit in a corner. Why do we got to talk about racism? Why is it always the black man in the corner? Hey, nobody put Blackie in the corner. Get it? No one puts baby in the corner. It's not a black person joke. Baby. Baby boy. We're talking about baby boy if you guys don't understand that reference. Oh, look. <laughs> he got a cup of soda. Yep. I got it from off camera where I keep my chainsaws and other accessories. Why are you laughing, Treated? I'm watching a couple of videos that my friends in the other Discord server sent me. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, come on. It's funny. Emotional damage. <laughs> I am actually not surprised that you know what that is. <laughs> that video is funny. It's See what's happening right now, Lou? I'm preparing for the next show. Well, you have to. You have to be prepared to deal with that circus <laughs> of a fucking nightmare. But little does the audience know that the Faggot Show is kind of an offshoot of the Nothing Show, where Agent H was a part of, and so was old Toby, and so was Sweden here. We carried long-form conversations. We've done it all. You guys are just following our footsteps. I want you to understand that. Ladies and I, gentlemen, I introduce to you Gino Bisconte. Carry on. I did it first with Jim. You are Hey, you weren't supposed to thing. tell no one about Oh, you're talking about So, get it right. Jerry Pepper Pee Pee. <laughs> Jerry Pepper Pee Pee. Jerry Pepper Pee Pee. Make sure you call him that on the show. I am almost positive I'll forget by then. I had forgotten, but it's so good. I love it. I oh, really Jerry. hope I remember to call him Jerry Peppered Pee Pee. Next time he says to me, You have a beard. That's my Scottish accent. Look at the beard upon your face, and you are wearing a hat. That is not a Scottish accent. It is so. No, it's there not. I have a haggis over here. It's my dinner. It's haggis. Oh, I'm going to eat it. Oh, men are delicious. And See, look at, look at Jerry Pepper Pee Pee's comment. Long form conversations. One of your co hosts is watching videos. Hello. <laughs> your whole fucking show. Everyone is off doing some other bullshit. You got yeah, Toby Jerry Peppered BB playing with his long twirly hair. You got H staring off to God knows what. Really, Jerry Peppered BB. Fucking A, bro. Learn Dude, your it looks crew. like I thought I had a giant watermelon slice here. Ooh, where are those yummy watermelon slices? Oh, I it doesn't it with the a, green. That's a bad bad joke. Jerry Carry on. Pee -pee. I was making no jokes at all. Carry on. I just Jerry noticed it looked like a little green in this. It looked like a watermelon. Jerry covered his pee pee. Thank God. Oh, is he going to fall asleep again on the show? Because that shit was funny. That motherfucker like this. See, he's a funny boy. That was the best that show's ever been because he was quiet. He wasn't coming with his dumbness. Yes, yes, I'm watching videos, but I'm still listening. <laughs> but respond. You didn't help your case there, Weed, and you respond fucking five minutes later to that. <laughs> no, I guess I'm not. Huh? Whoops! Are the videos appropriate to be shared here? Uh, yes, actually. Well, then let's share it with the lovely audience. Okay, let me see if I can find them again. Share your candy with the class, Charles. All right, hold on. Uh, oh, this one's a good one to start with. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna share my screen again. Uh, let's see. Uh, you better let me do it, Todd. 
Oh, I should have fallen asleep during this crap. Oh, All right. go cover your pee pee, bitch. All right, I am sharing my screen and I am going to go into uh -oh, Discord. Roll time. He's rolling a cigar. Let's see. Okay. You're muted, bitch. Tell me when to put your screen up on the screen. Um, I'm, I'm, I can see it. I, I have it maximized, so do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can okay. You, can you see a black screen that says uh, replay yep. video? Yep. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. But we can't hear. I don't want to see your garbage. You gotta turn volume on. Oh, I got. I gotta turn volume on. Hmm. Ah. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Here, I'll buy you some time. Uh, let's see. Uh, see, you should have saved that play for when you went live with the faggots and made them all jealous. Echo can't. No. I'll be. I, I would get. He can't wait. He needs to eat it now. I need it now. Hey, we need to get with Lucas. Are we going live Sunday? I think so. I think that was what was said. I've been having a very hard time time uh, paying attention to things in this life these days. Yeah, when are you going back to work? Tomorrow, maybe. Why don't you start on Monday? That's not a bad idea. That's disgusting. I don't know if you if I can actually uh, add the audio to this. The best way to do it is to send it to Jim. Oh, but it's it's it was a video that was posted to Reddit and then it was shared in my uh, uh, Discord. Well, poppycock anyway. All right, hold on. I can find the link. Okay, give me a minute. Meh. Yeah. Meh. You know. Meh. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. I found the video, so uh, here. Uh, let's see. How many camera setups do you have, Jim? Private. Just chat. a one or two? Just a one. There, I shared it. He sent it to you, Jim. Now play it. I'm just gonna exit the screen sharing. Ow. Why are we watching you eat kielbasa? On a just, paper be lucky, at that. just be lucky it's not in my mouth. Yeah, this bitch is too lazy to do dishes. Dude, I have no problem with him using paper plates because I use paper plates. Why like, wash the dishes when you can just throw them away when you're done with them? They would give you a reading based on that card. So, for instance, if you were to pick the Queen of Hearts, that would so whichever card you picked subconsciously, then they would give you a reading based on that card. So, for instance, if you were to pick the Queen of Hearts, that would tell me that you're a very loving person, very caring. But if you were to pick a club card, the suit club, that would tell me that you're very bubbly and live life outgoing. So you're going to pick one of these cards right now. And whichever card you pick, that's going to tell me and all your friends about you and what you love and what you enjoy, yes? So look, these are all different. Can everyone see that, yes? Good. You're going to touch any one of these cards. Whichever one you touch, we're going to give you a reading on. This one here, you sure? Right, this one here, take it to me. Don't turn it over just yet. Now look, you could have literally had any one of these cards, yes? So whichever card this is, what the fuck this am I card watching? is going to tell me and everybody else Wait, about you and what you love, what you enjoy. Turn it over, have a look. <laughs> what does it say? It says I love Cox. <laughs> <laughs> that was the perfect card for Jerry. <laughs> Charles Whedon, you scoundrel. <laughs> I fucked my whole camera up. Yes, you did. And it's your fault because you wanted to show us you eating. Where's the other one? I'm trying Kalbasa. to provide value here. What What other one? Wasn't there another video you watched? There were several, but I hadn't watched them all yet. Oh.
Uh, let me see if I can find the other one uh, that I watched, which was pretty funny. Um, oh, uh, okay. Uh, this has something to do with those, um, uh, you know, those Velociraptor co- like blow up costumes that like yeah. pop that like pop up everywhere. Yeah, uh, this guy dresses up in a Velociraptor, and his wife or friend or whatever I don't I couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman. Um, decided to take one of those like spray like fart things, spray it into the like the the inflator for the uh, for the costume, and the guy was stuck in the raptor outfit, smelling nothing but terrible farts. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that must be horrible. Yeah, but I shared that one too. All right, but this is the last one because this is the only other one that I watched. I'll watch the other ones later. That's disgusting. You just had to say it like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Get to the chopper! Oh, speaking of which, you can't say that word, Charles. You can't say that word. Why? Why? You said I I said Arnold Schwarzenegger. No. Please, bro. That's his name. Just don't. Just stop trying to get us canceled, bro. Dino farts. This is one for the books. The kids are gonna love this. Go, 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 huh? Go in the snow. <laughs> 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 Crap, it's over. I was hoping that would have been longer. Uh, that was a good uh, one. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it would have been better if he threw up in the suit. Yeah, it would have been. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what else we got? Go ahead. Put it in your mouth. Go ahead, right there. There you go. Nice and slow. Go ahead. Again. Ooh, yeah. yeah, yeah. The potatoes like the balls. I know. <clears throat> well, I mean, we've been doing this for almost an hour and 15 minutes, so. <laughs> Great minds stick alike, Lou. I know, V. He wants to play with it in his face. There you go. Slap your go ahead. Slap yourself with it. Yeah. Uh huh. Now smack your face with it. Go ahead. There you go. Now lick it all up. <laughs> oh, Char Charlie. Reynolds asked, Daddy, would you like some sausage? There you go. Put it in your mouth. There you go. Chew nice and slow. Oh, email. Email? From, you still on Proton? Uh, I'm not going to say what my email provider is, but uh, uh, I will say that I use an email service similar to that. I forgot all my info to that one. Yeah. Oh, man. But I think on that note, we'll just end it. We've went for one, one hour, 15 minutes. We gave them a pre-show. We gave them a nice, glorious meal with Jim. Sweden here gave us two lovely videos to enjoy. Yeah, that shit was funny as hell. 
And we came up with a new name for Jerry Pepper Pee Pee. Do I even, do I even want to know what that name is? Jerry, Pe Jerry Pepper Pee Pee. Okay, well, in that point, I think I need to do the obligatory farewell that I am most known for, and that is bye bye.